Hey, hey, folks. Here we are. Tuesday Stories brought to you by Sheath Underwear. You know you love it. I'm wearing them right now. Best undies in the biz. They hug the junk. They give you support. They split the twig and the berries. And it uh, gets a little needed space down there. It's a hot as ball summer, so spread out your stuff, will you? Let it breathe. Sexy looking. The lady loves it. I'm a huge fan. This is all I wear now. I'm completely turned over. The idea came from its founder, U.S. Army soldier Robert Patton. Patty. During, during his second... <laughs> what? I just said Patty. Oh. During his second tour in Iraq, support this awesome veteran-owned company who is a founder and a Tuesday himself and a big comedy fan. Tell him how, Fatty. That's right. Go to sheathunderwear.com and order with promo code TUESGAYS to, to get 20% off your first order and sheath underwear's 100% money back guarantee. That's sheathunderwear.com, promo code TUESGAYS. Get sheath underwear and let them support your balls. Woo. You got that right. Now, I'm nervous about this new recorder because when I talk, my thing goes up, but both of them don't. Is that all right? right? Is that normal? I think I, hear, I see mine moving. Yeah, yours moves. We each move individually. Yeah, that's a good sign. Oh, all right. I thought they both go up. Left Shelby, and right. we did a whole step-by-step, day-by-day uh, -day on that thing. Okay, I'm worried that it's going to be one of these stereo. Where they, I'm in the right ear and you're in the left ear. Oh, I think he can sink like a period. He'll sink. All sink, right. Kitchen sink. Hey, Mark, fake banter for the intro. That's all I know how to do. Great. Good to be here. Welcome to Tuesdays with... Stories. Hit her in the face with a surfboard. And then the duck fell out of his bag. <laughs> Surf's up. And she didn't even flush. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mark Norman and Joe List. Yeah! This is Tuesdays with Stories, everybody. No, that's terrible. This is supposed to be cheesy. My radio is spitting at me. I think we're in it. Are we in it? Yeah, we're in it, baby. This is it. Here we go. Hey, hey folks. Queef it up. Uh, I should just get it out in the open. I've never been this hungover. I had three cocktails. It's it's ruining my life. I can barely stand up. I'm shitting water. I hate myself. I, now, I don't understand. Did you eat something? Because three cocktails, this dog don't hunt. I mean, it sounds like you got a cold. You sound nasally and yeah. gargly and throaty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're saying three drinks. So maybe you got a, a bite of something. Maybe. I'm sweating. I'm shitting blood. I, I think you might have something there, but I didn't eat. I think you got something with the no eating. All right. I'm because empty. This, I mean, are you hydrated? Because this sounds less hungover and more flu. I mean, you sound like shit. I feel like ass. I've had about 19 of these... Uh, uh, bottles of water they're huge i had a emergency i had two coffees i even tried a little nip of whiskey just to get back on the train nothing's working but we're pushing through we're gonna do a hell of a pod it's gonna be a great pod i mean you sound awful i, I hope you're not sick i don't want to get sick my wife said she feels like she uh -oh. was getting sick but then she slept and today she feels fine so i don't know uh -huh. i think people are worn out hey that looks like uh dublin i've been right over there remember that uh, festival yeah you got that right Maybe it's not we might have to kill the screensaver because what happens is i see it and i go oh shit look at that there's your remote there hit the power button on the top left get rid of it <laughs> nice christopher Get rid of her. Oh, there you go. That's a Chris D reference. Yeah. Uh, new movie coming out. Sopranos movie. What? I'm talking Chris Stefano. Oh, never heard of it. Sopranos movie. P.U. Well, it's about the origin. Where, like, oh. it's, it's played by his son. It's all origins. Can yeah. I get a movie that's not an origin? There's oh. literally a movie... That's the origin of a G.I. Joe character. What? Yeah, it's some Asian running around, everything's red, he's got swords, and you're watching, you're going, ah, maybe this, I'm trying to be open, more, op more open-minded sure. about the movies, and I'm like, maybe I should go watch Black Window or whatever the fucking yeah. action bullshit is, Tinted. the G.I. Joe movie, the He-Man movie, the uh, fucking Skeletor movie, whatever uh, it is. It's like toys, these are toys. <laughs> it's doing? all toys, it's toy origins, I, I I went to the Toy movies Story. last night. <laughs> Toy Story. That was pretty good. Oh, thanks. I'm trying to get it out there. I'm hurting. No, I meant the movie, not the ah, quip. Well, they made seven of them. I didn't see the other six, but the first one was that's fun good. and good. Dan Crone is in it. What? Well, the kid looks like him. Ah, uh, that's true. Pixar, they do good work. 
Yeah, Pixar. They got Up. They got, uh, you know. The other one. Yeah, what's the other Monsters one? Anal. Monsters uh, Inc. I love. I saw that in the theater and got blown. Well, seeing it in the theater is a little off-putting. I saw because I worked at FYE. Ah, uh, for your information. I'm not, an, I'm not an asshole buying a ticket to Monsters Inc. You well, fucking... I was on a hot date with a skank. What, was she 11? No, I think we were 16. <laughs> Good times. No, Monsters Inc. came out in like... 2000, uh, I'm going to say four. Don't make me give it a goog. I mean, I was out of college by then. I'm thinking because Monsters, Inc. came out. I worked at FYE, so it must have been love. Oh, you're love, entertainment. Uh, 2002, 2003. Yeah, I graduated high school in 2001. 201. 201. All right. 2001. All right, so you weren't 16 is my point. Yeah, I guess I was 18. 18. Even better. 18, 19, 20. But anyways, 17, you know what I mean. I think that's about statutory rape, right? It sounds like it. I mean, it's the Beatles, but it was a different time. She was just 17. But I think that's uh, that's that's not rape anymore. Some, every state is different. That's true. Isn't it weird that the states vary? We got to gotta hammer down a, uh, a kid age for fucking. Variants. Look out. Ah, uh-huh. Delta. There's nobody I hate more than the person that you're hanging out and you're like, you're looking at these variants. I'm like, shut up about the variants. Let me live my life. I don't want to hear about it. I'm so, I just want to, I, I feel good. I'm with you. The variants are silly. There's a new one every week. I can't keep up. Am I, am I supposed to be scared? Are we not scared? I, I don't know anyone who's got the Delta. I don't know what to do here. I, I'd rather just be scared when it happens. Yes. I, it's just, I read this article. I'm like, just give me the good news. I'm walking around. By the way, it's weird coming back. I was in Maine. I didn't oh, yeah. even pack a mask. I mean, zero mask. Wow. Everyone's vaccinated, healthy, happy, running around. And I come back, and it's uh, it's quite masky here on the subway, at least. The subway is crazy, but I, I keep forgetting my mask because, you know, you go to the cellar, you go walk around, you don't need it. And then I get on the train, I go, oh, and everybody gives you the stink eye. Yeah. But there's also always, like, three guys or one gal without it. So you kind of have a bond with them. Yeah, do you go sit with them or kiss them or finger them? What do you do? I sit on their lap, and then we breathe into each other's face, I guess. But I, I don't know... I don't know what the deal is because no one's going, hey, put that mask on, but there's a vibe, there's a tension. It right. just seems uh, we're we're kind of past it. It's, but. it's Well, some countries don't because I think they didn't get vaccinated. The people that are dying now are vaccinated. For everything I read, if you got the vaccine, you're good to go. Yes. And if you don't get the vaccine, that's cool. That And that's cool, man. But that's on you, Fatty. That, that's on you and you might kick off. But at this point... I got to say, uh, you, you've, you got all the info. Everyone has all the info. Yes. So if you choose not to get the vaccine, that's fine. That's your prerogative. I understand you're afraid of the things, the queefs, or the kills, or the government, whatever it is. That's uh, good. That's fine. That's cool. I'm cool. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know, it's, it's riskier from what I understand. Yeah. But let's just let bygones be gaygones. Yes. I mean, what the fuck? Who gives a shit? Bisexual, BIPOC. By curious, but yeah, it's like, hey, if you didn't get the vaccine, now I got to wear a mask to protect you? Doesn't really add up there, sloppy jalopy. So if you don't want to get the vaccine, that's on you. You're on your own. Right. That's And that's what I've said. I think they're cool with that. From, yeah. from my perspective, at least in America or whatever, if the people that don't have the vaccine never believed in the thing anyways. Right. So they don't care about masks. Yep, yep. And the people that are vaccinated are protected, so they don't care about masks. Exactly. Let's get rid of the masks. Let's get rid of the masks. I'm fine. So why am I wearing one? You should be wearing one if you don't want the vaccine. But it's always fun, too, when you talk to somebody and they're like, oh, I'm not getting that. They're like, oh, you're one of those guys. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. My uncle, I was just with my uncle. He didn't he didn't get the vaccine. He had it. He's uh he's got a mustache, so I think he thinks that protects him or whatever. But he seems to be <laughs> fine. He's a little guy, he's in the fire department, he's walking around. Ah. So uh, you know, he's got little legs and a big dick. So There you go. More the merrier. Or apparently, whatever. Apparently Bill Maher's packing heat. No kidding. Huge dong. Wow. It's interesting because he's got such an ugly face and a Hideous. smug disposition. Yes, yeah, smug. But a huge cock and and we've talked about it, obviously. Maybe on air, but off air. I love the guy. People oh, like hate this fan. guy. They they just loathe him. They're like that piece of shit scumbag. He's a guy. I'm like, I love him. I, I couldn't love him more. I, 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 I want to put his big, huge cock in my face. Yeah, put it in my ass because uh, he just keeps it real. He tells it like it is. He's a lefty, but he makes fun of the left and uh, he's doing jokes and 
He, he's he's a little squ- uh, smirky, a little smarmy. Smarmy. But hey, at least he owns it and he is who he is and uh, he doesn't, uh, what do you call it? Cowtow? Is that a Cow, thing? Cowtail or cowtow? Cowtow? What the hell's tow? Isn't that a Chinese herb or something? Cowtow. Yeah. Or, uh, a thing? Chi Chong, Chi Chin Chong, ah. Main Streets. I don't know, but there's toe in the line. So wouldn't it be cow toe? Yeah, you know, tau the line. Tau, tau. there's T-A-O. That's a Chinese restaurant. Yeah, he is a Chinese guy, I think. By the way, look at these sheaths taste. popping out, huh? Woo-wee! Showing off some sheaths. Do you ever wear basketball shorts out and about? It feels oh, very strange. It feels weird. You get a boner. It's, uh, it's scaring the the, uh, the kids at the convent. And the pockets are loose. I, sat, I went to the movies last night. I put my feet up, and you just hear... Oh. <laughs> and it's just quarters <laughs> and worst. change and condoms and lipstick and everything goes right. everywhere. I hate when that happens. I love a deep pocket. Nothing worse than when that ding, 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 ding sounds like a Vegas in your pocket. Yes, deep pocket chokra. Uh, <laughs> the other day I was on the the beach. This is fun. I think you'll like Hit this kind there, of humor. Sloppy Joe. I'm on a, not a beach. In Maine, it's all rocks. You're on like a uh, rocky I hate the beach. Rock. Love a rock. You kidding me? I like Iran better. I hate I hate the rock, the uh, actor uh, guy. What about Iraq Z? Well, I never drove one, but it seems like a nice vehicle. Yeah. It's a little bit of a Trans Am ripoff. Am I crazy? Mm. Looks pretty similar. Caitlyn Jenner drove one of those. I don't know anything about uh, anything, but so I like the Rocky Beach. By the way, I still stand by this. I've seen zero films featuring The Rock. Not one. Wow, that's impressive. I know. I'm going to keep my streak going. I will never watch a The Rock film. I watched one on a plane. Uh, Fast and Furious 78. I, I, who can keep up? It was with Jason Statham, which is funny because they fight each other the whole movie, and you're like, this guy's 5'7". This guy's a giant Samoan uh, queef with a tattoo. I, I got a roof for... St- like, this is so unrealistic. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I'm, I State them. I've never seen any of his films either. Oh, He's- that's... Come on. Snatch, Lockstock. Oh, all right. I saw those. I thought. I just think of him as a later action guy. Well, he had this weird... That's a weird thing about action movies is these old white guys, they're like, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm over the hill now, Liam Neeson, so I'm going to get into action. John Wick with Keanu. Mm-hmm. Well, he's always been action. Ah, well, Bill and Ted. I guess yeah, it's kind of an actionish comedy, but I mean, you have Point Break was action. Oh, that's and true. That's true. Matrix. I guess the vampire action. Matrix is very actiony. Vampire one. What's that one? Dracula. He's that. He's in Dracula. What? They, they call it one of the worst accents of all time. He's yeah. trying to do British, and it was just a appalling display. He's also in a in a Shakespeare to be and not to be. It doesn't really work. That sounded more like Trump. Yeah, that was very that was very Trump. I don't think you could do that good of a Trump if you tried. No, that's over. I yeah. didn't try to do Keanu, and then it fell into Trump. But if I tried to do Trump, it would sound like something else. You ever have this? For a while, I was doing an amazing soaring eagle for like 10 minutes. What was that, a Native American? That one was pretty oh, good. Oh, that was pretty good. Somehow I got it back, but then I lost it. I think I stepped on it. Hit it again. <laughs> That's pretty good. Okay, I think I might have got it back because I had it for like 10 minutes and people were like stopping in the streets to give me quarters. <laughs> they were like, what is that? Oh my God, we got to come see you live. I've never heard anything like that. People were, had binoculars out looking for the eagle. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, all of a sudden I lost it. I was going... <laughs> uh, don't you hate when you lose it? <laughs> yeah, look at I, that. That's not bad. It's a little breathy, a little windy. A little windy. Yeah, it's got to have a real kick to it in the beginning that... <laughs> Nah, that's terrible. It. That was a I was a fart. queef. Yeah, yeah, I can't do it, but the Eagles are a solid band. Great documentary. There yeah, it is. See, nah, that felt that too high. That bad. That felt like a coach. A coach? <laughs> like, oh, like, like a whistle? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's all whistles. <laughs> it's all pipes. Yeah. What's uh, up with the rape whistle? You don't hear about that anymore. <laughs> well, by the way, two things. I got to get back to my story about the oh, Rocky Beach. Oh, please. Beach. But I was driving. I did all kinds of driving this week, hours and hours of driving. But I threw on Nick DiPaolo, Born This Way, the album from like, oh, four. Like a Motley Crue album? Not Born This Way. This is the second one. Born This Way was this first one from like 88. Ah. But uh, Road Rage. Oh, you want to have a couple chuckles? Toss on Road Rage. The the audio's not the best because it was the seventies. So. Yeah, yeah. But boy, oh boy, is there some real classic Nick Dip in there? All right, I'd love to hear it because the old stuff is bananas. It's it's lunch. It's uh, so good. I mean, I was in the car like swerving in and out of traffic, howling on the Merritt Parkway, listening to some DePaulo and, and just shitting all over and. 
I got to say, my wife, she laughed at a few things, but she's like, I don't know. This just isn't my cup. Really? And I'm like, it was a moment where I almost got divorced because yeah. I was like, this isn't your cup. I'm just trying to do this. What's not to like? I mean, you got to you gotta love comedy in the car. You get why people listen to it because it's fun. It's very fun. I don't listen to it enough, so I gotta, I gotta, I'm got I getting back in there listening to some old classics, but my God, what a funny guy. But let me give you the Rocky Beach business. Oh, oh yeah. Hit me with the rock. I got all kinds of stuff, but I'm on the Rocky Beach beach you know late night there's a million kids in the family so they go to bed and and Cantor was up there i was up in maine i'll, ah. I'll tell the whole story this is all out of order but please he's uh you're out of order this whole courtroom's out of order overruled but we go up to the rocky beach and, and Cantor's up there with his new squeeze and then me and sarah and Cantor and the squeeze we all go down to the rocks at night to have a cigar uh-huh. and you know they smoke some weed we have a couple laughs a little adult time you know we sure. switch we swap wives we make out with each other i fuck can in the ass his Love girlfriend it. jerks off oh yeah but at one point you know they're having a couple cocktails a little bit of weed this dame she spills her bag on the rocks it's oh, pitch black it's no. like one in the morning so and she's got a, a crazy bag like tampons you know, and butt plugs and uh, swastikas chapsticks you know earrings Ooh. the works so what do you got the phone light out now that's right phone light and so everyone's helping her putting it back in and she's got a little buzz on and, and we're fun we're buddies now so what i do is Every time she looks over there, I take a nice stone, like a good handful of rock, and just plop it in the bag. Uh, <laughs> I got up to six of them. Wow. Six rock, and, and I kept doing it stealthily where no one was noticing because right. it's dark and the flashlight, so I'd move the flashlight over here and pile of rocks in. And I thought at the end of the night, she'd pick it up and be like, what the fuck, or something. Uh-huh. It's three days on now. I haven't what? heard a word. I haven't heard a word once. So I don't know if she hasn't noticed or if she just thought maybe she was drunk or maybe she's pissed. I don't know. I think it's pretty innocuous. I'm hoping she goes, that's hilarious. Yeah. Well, it's got to be so heavy. What the hell is she thinking? I don't know, but it feels pretty good. So she's in there looking for her lip gloss and, and there's a couple of nature's finest rocks in there. Yeah. Yeah. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Well, that's fun. I, I love a gag like that. Fun gag. Classic gag. I hope she's not mad. I think it's funny, but... Um, because, you know, I could have tossed some seaweed and a couple of crabs in there True. next to her crab medicine. I hope they were good uh, good rocks, too. You don't want to get a slimy algae rock in there. No, this was, uh, you know, low tide, dried off, a couple stones, and, uh, you know, it's fun. I can't believe you like the rocks. I, I went to Italy years ago with the lady, and, uh, you know, it's all these beaches, beaches. That's all you hear, and you get there, and it's those fucking hard black rocks, and you're like, what the hell? I want some sand between my ass cheeks. Yeah, I want hard black cocks, if anything. Sure. For my wife to enjoy, but I don't know. Well, I like, I mean, a sandy beach is sandy hook. great. That's one thing. You yeah. Know, that's a myth, but the sandy beach <laughs> is nice to walk and sit, spend a day. Uh-huh. If you want to, if you got a day, you want to do that, plus... The rocks, you need water shoes because it's sharp and yes, spiky and the whole thing. Exactly. So Sandy's good, but the rocks are nice because it feels it's earth, it's nature, and you can skip. I do a lot of skipping down there. Love a skip. Sometimes you take a big boulder, and sometimes at night when everyone's having a convo, you grab a big boulder and toss that in. Everyone shits their bl- their pants. Oh, yeah, that's a good time. I'm not a good skipper. I can't get it. I like the peanut butter I like, but I can't skip be that rock. Oh, you got to see me skip. I'm world class. I could see you as a good skipper. You get the that... That zip on it. Yeah, you got to get low. You got to make sure you're flat and low and a real zip. And uh, I can go distance or I can go number of skips. I'm more of a distance guy, though. Yeah. Because there's a competition up there and the kids like to get, well, I got 17 skips. I'm like, I want one skip, like 50 Uh, yards. I mean, I can really skip that thing. It's funny to think like pre-internet, pre-phones. That was was entertainment. Like, hey, we're skipping. Oh, that's all we do all the ding dong day up there, and it's really changed because now my family there's 48 kids now, ah, uh-huh. and they're all on their phones playing the Super Two and the e- business exactly. And uh, yeah, we had no TV, just all card games and rock skipping and and walking and hiking and all the stuff. It's but. a better life. I'm watching the uh, Hemingway doc, and he's Ooh. like, we go to Key West every summer and fish and eat each other out and all this, and you're like, man, they just killed time. They just played card games and swam. That was it. Kill time, kill Tony. Aha. Uh-huh. Is he alive still? Is that I think he's around. I think he settled. lives in China now. I don't know. I can't keep up, but he's around. He's doing his thing. I think he, I think uh, he moved to Texas with the rest of them. Right. That's the move now. You got to go to Texas. Well, I'm staying right here, but I, I wanted to buy a house up in Maine. I almost bought a house. 
Wow. But then I remembered, you know, I don't have enough money to buy a house. And it was like an 1800s house. And I'm not an 1800-year-old house guy. Now you're going to have to fix the chandelier and there's ghosts. How how's the prices out there? Well, they've gone up because, you know, COVID, everybody bought up. So everything skyrocketed. You can't afford uh, nothing. So, yeah. You know, but you get you, you know you get those wild hairs up your ass. Everyone in my family's buying a place and a thing over right, there. They right. built the thing and a little shed over here. So you go, oh, maybe I'll buy one. Exactly. And then you remember you hate these people, so you're like, nah, it's not a great idea. Yeah, but it's a good investment. You know, you have it now. You own a home, but you're never going to be there. Well, you have to rent it out. Then you can make some income up there. Right. Right. Who right. knows? Whatever. But couldn't do it anyways. Let's get into this fucking yeah. thing. I mean, I, I, hit, hit me with the with the beach. Well, a lot of stuff. Well, I guess I'll just. I feel like I'm talking more though. You might have to throw some stuff uh, oh, out I there. These stuff. people get very upset. All right. Well, let me let me just throw this out there, please. So where the hell was I? Oh, Phoenix. Ah. You got to get out to Phoenix, there, fatty. They're 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 jonesing for you. They're foaming at the mouth. Love Phoenix. It's like there's too many choices out there. I know Phoenix is an underrated comedy town. Just hot crowds. They want to laugh. They don't get upset. They don't get offended. They like it dark. Oh, almost yacked. Chest pain? Oh, shit. This could be ugly. If I yak, I'll do it right on the table. What'd you get, bad ice? I mean, what happened? Three drinks, know. you're saying? Yeah, three. I swear to God, it was three. But they were full cups of whiskey. All right. Woo. I mean, three drinks. This is uh, a little embarrassing, frankly. I know. I don't know what's gotten over me. Maybe you uh, got bad ice, or you ate a. Did you eat a piece of chicken? Or uh, I did, actually. I had a kebab. Uh-huh. Maybe you got a bad kebab. Ah. Uh. Bob Saget. Kaboom. Yeah, I'm going to do that later in the, in the <laughs> turlet. But uh, so I get a I get an email or a message from this guy. He goes, hey, and, I, and nice guy. He goes, hey, I got a test. I work at the Tesla plant here. Ooh. Do you want to come by and uh, we'll film it and you can do some driving and we'll get you in a Tesla. And I'm like, oh, my God, get me in a Tesla. Sure. Hey, you know, what am I doing all day? I'm, I'm you know, pulling my dick and uh, fingering my ass and my... You know, my kids. So I go, ah, yeah, I'll, I'll go do that. Now, how about this one? Me and Ari Manis show up. We get to the Tesla plant or whatever. Who's that? Ari Manis. He's my opener. Ah, Cute familiar. kid. Okay. Jewish. Uh, we show up, and it's noon or one, and this beautiful warehouse, like the coolest cars. They're all cool looking and new and zippy, and there's like special Teslas that are like race cars. And I'm like, oh, my God, he's got the camera guy out there. He mics me up. I'm like, this is going to be great. And they go, yeah, well, you know, we, we got a track over here. We'll go to the track. I'm like, oh, my God, I'm going to race a Tesla on a track. We get in the Tesla. Some old guy's like, hey, you want to uh, get get in here with me? They got GoPros in there. And he drives me around the track, and that was it. So you didn't get to drive? I thought I was going to get to drive it. It was a big tease. Oh. Huge tease. And I, I couldn't be like, do I get to drive it? Because... I felt weird that they didn't offer it, so I just go, okay. Then we did that for an hour, and I went home. Oh, who wants to be a passenger I in a know. car? I mean, maybe if it's like a Formula One, but a yes. Tesla. I, there's a Tesla in my fucking driveway right exactly. now. Exactly. And, you know, the guy guns it, and you go, whoa, it's so fast. I get it, but I don't know. I could do this with an Uber. I'm never great with the, the ride in the car guy. And I want to ride in your car because we're friends. Sure. So we'd hang out like this. Yeah. So why not be in a car? That's fun. That's fun. But the guy, I remember my my uncle had a friend who had a Corvette, and he's like, you like Corvettes? And I was like, oh, I love Corvettes. I, I was a big Corvette asshole when I was a kid. Oh, I was you obsessed were that guy. with them. Well, when I'm like 12. I see. So I had all the thing, the split windshield, the stingray, oh, yeah. the business, the, the steel bumper, you know, uh -huh. 72, blah, blah, blah. And so he's like, I got a Corvette. I heard you're a Corvette kid. And I go, yeah, yeah. I got the books and the things and the little toys. And he goes, well, it happens to be sitting out there. You want to go for a ride? Ooh. And everyone's like, yeah, Joe, this is your dream. The whole thing. By the way, my senior portraits are in front of a Corvette. I oh, posted them before. That's embarrassing. embarrassing. Yeah, I got a Michigan shirt. I'm not even from there. A Corvette. I don't know. People are like, your dad had a Corvette? You had a Corvette? Nah. I'm like, no, my uncle's friend had a Corvette. Oh, God. It's very embarrassing. That was a big thing, taking photos in front of cars that weren't yours. That was a that was a thing back then. Yeah, it was weird. I don't know how I agreed to this. When you're young, people just say things. You're like, all right. You just and go with it. Now there's a picture of me wearing a University of Michigan shirt in front of a Corvette. It's a real misrepresentation. Although I was a Michigan fan as a kid. Yeah, go Roosters. Uh, what? what? What is a Michigan? Wolverine. Ah, close. Blue. Uh, X-Men. But anyways, Ann Arbor, great comedy club. Great town, great club. 
But uh, so I get on the in the Corvette, but you're just you got to meet a guy, and he's driving. And you're, I think if you're driving a cool car, yeah, you feel it. You feel yes. the difference. But in the passenger seat, you're like, I, I don't give a shit. I know. And then you got to go, oh my god, whoa, the power, whoa, and you know it's nice. And these guys are doing me a favor or whatever by zipping me around. But I'm like, I don't know. I could just rent a Tesla. Yes. I can Uber one or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, you can rent one. You can buy one. I mean, also, you're not you're not cool as a passenger. No. Like, no, no one's like, hey, what do you got, a friend with a car? Exactly. Like, the, the driver gets the pussy. Exactly. I'm giving him roadhead, this old guy, and, I'm, <laughs> and I feel like an idiot because I'm, I'm just sitting there. Yeah, it's a little silly, but still a nice gesture, yeah, a nice I guess. Gesture. Who gives a shit? But you're just sitting there going like, okay, I guess we'll switch now, but it never came up. And mm. then they were like, okay, we'll see you later. We got the footage. So it was a little awkward, and Ryan, I appreciate you having me, but me and Ari Manis drove back to the hotel like, well, that was uh, weird. <laughs> that was uncomfortable. I don't care for the huge screen. They got a TV screen the size of uh, AMC movie theaters it's, in there. Uh, it's an iPad in there. It's this big. It's crazy. AMC's dropping like flies. I'm losing a fortune on it. Uh, well, I just went to the movies last night, and it happened to be, I was a regal. Ah, could have used that ticket price. Regal Beagle. Yes, Brian Regal. What'd you see? Uh, it's a movie called Zolar, I think. Zoloft. It's about a woman. That twi- it's a whole movie based on a Twitter thread. Have you heard about what? it? What? Sounds this, like a nightmare. This woman, uh, a couple years ago, had a 148 tweet thread huh. about a crazy night stripping. Okay. And they made a movie out of it. And I'll tell you, it's a damn fine picture. Really? It's a hell of a picture. Maybe I'll give it a favorite. It's pretty good. It's only 83 minutes long and uh, the tweets, it's it's wild. It's funny. It's got a million uh, action and some laughs and some sex. You see some dicks. Okay. But no tits. I think it's like feminists so you see uh, the dicks but no tits. Yeah. Do, do women want to see dicks or not? I can't figure that one out. They hate the dick pic but then they're like, hey, it's all tits in the movie. What about us? I think they like pecs or abs over abs a dick. Abs are big. A dick, I think if you're seeing a dick, it depends on theirs is all uh, context and situational. Yes, yes, exactly. But I, I feel similarly at this age anyways, just a picture of a pussy, I'm like, yuck, get away from nah, me. Yeah. But a woman, you know, in like some of these dames on Instagram, comedians, there's comedians uh, on crazy. Instagram that are doing these thirst traps that... My Ooh. God. I know. I know. It's bananas. And more power to you, empowering, and show your clam. But, like, it's wild. Yeah, but, like, some of them, like, you just... If, like, to me, a lady, like, sitting like this, like I am now with some panties on and, like, a little yeah. low-cut situation, yep. that's hotter than a photo of, like, pussy lips to me. Yeah, the pussy lips is not the most photogenic. But if you know the gal, you're like, wow, you look at that vagina. Yes, if I saw a picture of like you know my aunt's pussy, that oh, would, that would get me off. That would be hot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wow. And isn't that weird that every woman has a vagina? Like old Chinese ladies have a crazy gash between the legs. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I guess, but it's some old bag picking up cans in Chinatown. And you're like, ah, she gets horny. She's rubbed yes. her clit or whatever. Yeah, she's rubbing it with a little Mountain Dew bottle. Yeah, yeah. Well, whatever it takes. Um, but yeah, so everybody gets horny. It's pretty kooky. Yeah, Nuns, uh, priests, well, we know about them. Yeah, it's pretty wild. I forgot to put my airplane mode situation on. But let me give you a little bit about uh, Maine. Yes. Old Orchard, because I just had like one of the great weeks of my life. I feel oh boy, renewed, refreshed, recharged, retarded. I, I really feel... Silent re. Yeah, re, reflux. I yes, mean, Maine Coon. So, you know, I go up to Maine every year since I was a little bitty tyke. Uh-huh. You know, it's, it's weird because we get older. You're like, I've been coming here for 37 years now. I know. It just keeps flying by, folks. Time keeps going. Now I'm the guy who's like, look at these young kids. What's yep. going on here? Yep. You don't know this town. Get the fuck out of here. Totally. And then like someone will be like, are you familiar with the uh, whale watch? I'm like, get out of here. I went on the whale watch in 1991, you piece of shit. Get out of here, you Come young on. cunt. I know the whole kit and caboodle. Move it along, dickless. This is my town. It's all ego. I wish I could have a hat that's like, been here more than you, you yeah. fucking idiot. Don't talk to me. <laughs> right, right. But we go up there now. Sarah and I, we go to Booth Bay Harbor every year with my family. There's like, I mean, the family keeps growing. All I can think is, 
you start to get weird introspective because of course you're like all the everyone has kids in the family there's 19 kids now the kids get older and you're like soon these kids will all have partners yes. that they bring yes and then they like double it's like exponential but the older people will start to die off i know and then we become the older one you it's got that very right. strange um, oh, yeah. and then you're thinking like my uncle bought this house when he was my age uh, and i was 17 and it's the circle of jizz it just keeps going that's why you can't take all these queefs too seriously because it all ends folks we're just on a conveyor belt to hell well, we were talking about it off air. You go up and you spend some time in the woods, on the ocean, swimming, it heals, the whole family. Mm. And then you're like, I only got 200 likes on this tweet. You're like, what are you talking about? I Who know, gives a shit? Who cares? What the fuck? I, I got a seven-year-old blowing me and my old uncle is dying. Yep. But any jizz. Specks of dust. <laughs> so we're going up there and I like to plan a thing. I don't like to just go someplace. I like to stop on the way, get a little... Uh -huh. Ah, a little routing. The main streets and back roads, you know what I mean? So sure. the the Red Sox, who I haven't been to a game in two years because of dumb COVID, yep, they're yep. playing a Thursday matinee. So we leave here Ooh. Wednesday night. We jump in the car. I love a night drive. We leave at 8 p.m., get up there at 1230, sleep it off, wake up first thing in the morning, jump in the car. Sarah's never been to Fenway. We head into Boston. We park. We go to the Sox game. It drizzles a little bit, but the sun comes out. Ah, and then I love it. I got Fogarty in my mind. The sun came out today. You know, I'm born again. There's new yes. grass on the field. The team comes running out. She doesn't give a shit. She's on her phone. Oh, God. I'm watching. Lead off home run. I'm, I'm going crazy over here. I'm, I'm high-fiving the children. And, and, is, it, and is it at Boston? It's at the Green Monster? At Fenway. Fenway. Fenway Park there. Fenway. Haven't been in a couple years. And now I'm getting emotional because my dad just took me there when i was four he fucked yeah. me in the ass in the bleachers when i was nine sure play ball so you know it's a special place it's the most special place to me and and you know and I'm, I'm telling her all about the changes i'm like that wasn't there when i was a kid this wasn't here he wasn't there i was queer and it's exciting here, here. she gets into it a little bit we have a good time a few laughs yeah great game the Sox kill the royals it's fun they're in the middle of a winning streak they won eight in a row at the time it's happened now whatever it's ended Go now Sox. So we leave there, jump in the car, sit in traffic. We drive through Everett, my old neck of the oh, way. I'm yes. like, that's the biggest theater in Massachusetts. It's closed now. There's Mike's Roast Beef over there. There's the Everett House of Comedy. Shout out. Rest in peace, Tom Dustin. We love you. Tommy D. Look at this. QS Comedy. Hey, speaking of Tom, that's his little uh, venue. Go check it out. That's his joint. One of the best clubs. I, I can't wait. I'm going to go down there in the winter. And um, Hell yeah. Can't wait. But anyways. Great club. Go check it out. Go watch Tom. Look him up. Funniest guy ever. Hilarious. Drive through there. We go up Route 1. We pull into Old Orchard Beach, which I just love Old Orchard Beach. Folks might remember I was there a couple of years ago with Sarah. Very similar situation where it's rainy, drizzly day. Yep. So it clears out the park. There's an amusement ah. park. We stay at an old bed and breakfast. This wow. thing was built in, you know, 1398. How do you find all this? This is quite a planning job. Well, you just look it up. I mean, I, I grew up there, so that makes it easier. But Red Sox, uh, just, yeah, I know the schedule because I'm a fan. And sure. So you go on the StubHub. You get your tickets there. And, uh, you know, I go to Loge 162. I like to be down the left field line. It's a better view. Right field faces the wrong direction. It's a whole thing. Oh, yeah. So then we go there. We get this B&B, &B, and it's like an eight-minute walk from the beach. I, I'm getting, like, Goosebumps just thinking of this because it was so fun. It's it's a it's a dramatic day. It's a little drizzly. We pull into the B and B. Now my parents, I convinced them to come up. I'm like, you guys will love wow. it. It's kitschy. We'll hang out. We'll have a day without all the children. Yeah. So they're up there now. Uncle Dale, you know Uncle Dale. Love old Big Dick Dale. Big old cock on this son of a bitch. He's up there camping with his daughter ah. and wife. Ah. So we all meet up. We go down to the pier. They're having drinks on the pier. I grab his daughter, shove her up my ass. I go over to the amusement park. I go, give me three unlimited wristbands. They're 38 oh. bucks unlimited. If you ever go to Old Orchard Beach, don't get the tickets. You can either get tickets, and each ride is like five tickets. Oh, that's crazy. This one's three tickets, and they just go fast. That's how they get you. And you got to sit there and go, what? And you're just handing them over. Yep. You get the unlimited wristband. I go, it's 114 bucks for the three. Strap it on her. She's not that grateful. He's ah. She doesn't give a shit. But who cares? We go out there. Fun uncle. Wait, what's the price difference? What, what, you know, a ticket is what? Like mm. two bucks? And then how much is the wristband? I don't know. Well, the wristband is like 
38. Now, here's Jeez, where I'm... Jeez, that adds up, Fatty. Well, I'm a fun guy. Here's the thing. We talk about this a lot on the show. Funkel. Nothing is worth... The money, the, the not worrying about the tickets. Yes, yes. Is worth, even if it's $1,000, I'm like, give me the unlimited. And as a kid, we never had the unlimited. We yes. were always poor. Well, we can go on two rides, so choose wisely. Right. I like, uh, we're going on anything you want, nonstop, let's go. So we get them. That's the thing about money. People think it's this Ferrari and champagne. You're on a yacht getting blown by uh, J-Lo, but it's actually just that peace of mind. Needed a peace of mind. Piece of cake. Palm. So yeah. we get the things, and then uh, Uncle Dale, my parents, they finish up their beers. They come and join us. Everyone's drinking, having a good time. We got the unlimited. We go straight to the roller coaster. We jump on the front of that thing, and because it's been raining all day, same as two years ago, Yeah. it's been raining all day. It's all moody, dark clouds, Ooh. and it sprinkles here and there, but we don't give a shit. We go on the front of the roller coaster. The roller coaster guy... Coolest guy in the world. Yeah. I mean, this guy puts so much energy into his job. He's there two days in a row we were there. He's there for six hours straight. Ooh, He's like, are wow. you guys ready? Are you really ready? Wow. Give me a thumbs up. Wow. Well, have a good time. And he's doing that. He's like 58 years old. Wow. He looks like a hobo. His pants are sagging off. He's got like his hats over here. Yeah. He's got like a snot coming out. There's like patches of his beard are missing. But yeah. he's like, here we go. And away. He's like one of those guys. Still got the love for the game. You know, that's what you need at, a, at an old uh, amusement park. Because some of these guys go, yeah, they got a rat tail. They got one tooth. They go, all right, get in, you fucking queef. And then then you have a shitty ride. But you got to have a good, compassionate, open-minded guy there. He had all the energy. There was a bunch of good characters. There was one guy with a claw hand. He had like he was missing what? his hand. He had like the it looked like this thing. Oh yeah, I've seen that. Like the little grabber. Then there was a girl who was like 14, thinner than like McConaughey in that uh, AIDS movie. Ah, uh, yes, uh, Wolf of Wall Street. Yes, and then she has like the dark black, you know, uh Margot Tenenbaum makeup on and oh, she's just yeah. all moody and like looking like like you're on the tilt the world going woo and your feet are going, you're yeah. coming and she's just like scowling but you love it because you're like look at how pissed off she is this is hilarious what are you doing at that gig get out of here go work at hot topic you queef well she's 14 she's probably I booting see. heroin her dad lives in a trailer park i mean this is old orchard beach is not exactly the hamptons right a lot of opioids this is uh you know low budge let's say i hear you but there's nothing like an amu amusement parks are already kind of old school and and kooky and but it's nice in a in a old amusement park with some some gray clouds. It, it gives it a, like a spooky vibe. Oh my god, the clouds! And then like you're going up on the roller the on the roller coaster, and we know where the camera is because we went so many ah. times two years ago. So we're doing different faces and stuff. We're really clowning, right? And, and then the guy that sells you the photos, he gets to know us. He's like, "You guys are getting good because ah. we're doing all kinds of poses. I'm doing like Asian eyes, devil horns. Ah, I got fun. my dick out on one. You know, fun. we're making out on one of them. Hell yeah! And then each time though, the problem with making a fun, funny face is every time you go look at it, you got to buy it. You got to buy it because you're like. I'll take another one because you're like, that's too funny. Right. I keep being too funny. I, you know, I'm, I'm pulling on Sarah's tit and like going, woo, ah. and, and I snap it. And he's like, this is a good one. And I'm like, I, I gave the guy 300 bucks because I kept buying the photo. There you go. You know, you know what's sad is I, I go on a roller coaster now and I'm like, oh, I should film this. This is a cool view. Mm. But then I'm like, what am I doing? Enjoy the coaster. Uh, I don't know filming on the thing. I, I snap a few photos here and there, but. I, I think I got to talk fast because I got a lot to get to. Oh, on this hey, old sorry. Orchard Beach. Plus, we got ads. Hit me, hit me. How no, don't looking? apologize. I'm saying I'm, I'm worried that. Look at this. Oh, We're already we 90 minutes in. We got to do some ads. All right, all right. All right, right. To be continued. How you doing, everybody? All right. So, what do we got? Oh, Lucy. Oh, you got that right. Lucy in the sky. Tuesdays with Stories is brought to you by Lucy Nicotine Gum. I mean, uh, you know, you, you used to smoke for a couple uh, minutes there. It's sure. very difficult to smoke. I mean, to quit smoking, it's easy to start smoking, hard to quit. Isn't that the way it goes? That's it, Fatty. They, they get a hold of you. I can't quit now. But Lucy makes it much, much easier. It's one of the hardest things to do in the world is to quit smoking. you got to do it. You want to live a long, happy, plentiful life so you can go to Old Orchard Beach. Lucy was founded by Caltech scientists, former smokers who wanted to help other people quit. They set out to create a better and cleaner nicotine alternative. It took three years of research and experimenting. And finally, they made Lucy a nicotine gum that actually tastes good. Comes in three flavors, wintergreen, cinnamon, pomegranate. Cinnamon, of course, is my favorite. 
I mean, cinnamon babka. I love a cinnamon anything. Cinnamon yes. roll, cinnamon uh, twist, cinnamon uh. gum. Each has four milligrams of nicotine. If you don't like gum, you can check out their cherry ice lozenge. Get Lucy so you are prepared. Subscribe to monthly deliveries so you'll always be ready. Mark, tell them how to get it. Hey, they're supporting the show, so go support them. Get 20% off on all products, including gum or lozenges, at lucy.co with code TUESDAYS. That's 20% off lucy.co and use promo code TUESDAYS at checkout. Legal mumbo jumbo, you gotta say, this product contains nicotine derived from tobacco. Nicotine is an addictive chemical, but hey, we already knew that, baby. That's why we're in this boat to begin with. Get 20% off at lucy.co with code TUESDAYS. Thank you. you. That's right. And Tuesdays with Stories is also brought to you by Blue Chew. I love the chew. Folks, we all have sex. We all want to have sex. Every once in a while, you get a little anxiety or you drank too much or you know it just is not happening we've all been there it's awkward and here, uncomfortable here. you might need something to help you get a little more confidence in the bedroom and that something is blue chew blue oh, yeah. chew tablets offer the same active ingredients as viagra and cialis but in a chewable form if you don't like swallowing pills this is for you it works fast you can take a day or night save a ton of money compared to the name brands blue chew is an online prescription service that means no doctor's office or waiting in line talk to a licensed medical provider and get a prescription online ships right to your door in a discreet package and blue chew makes everything right here in the usa we just celebrated an american birthday support blue chew tell them how you got it baby special offer just for the gays visit bluechew.com and get your first shipment free Wow, when you use your special promo code TUESDAYS, just pay five clams for the shipping. Again, that's B-L-U-E-CHEW.com, promo code TUESDAYS to try it free. I mean, come on, folks, this is a free boner. How can you go wrong? What do you think, Cat? You got a boner, huh? I've seen that lipstick red rocket on you. All right, so you're uh, you're on the, uh, the roller coaster. Cat's pissed. Roller coaster of love. I mean... I gotta use a coaster on the table. So we don't press any buttons over there. Uh, no, please. Cat. Uh, I couldn't think of the name. Greg. Greg, that's right. Boy, Whoa, Jesus, Jesus Christ. You gotta go easy. Terrifying. Everyone tells me, oh, don't worry about this cat. And then you touch it, and then uh, the thing goes nuts. Look at this. Does this seem like it's not a terrifying cat to it's people? It's been on edge lately. I don't know what's going on. Oh, uh, there we go. You know, he's chasing a bug. I can see it. Uh huh. Oh, I just saw a bug go by. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So he's all hunt mode. Interesting. Yes. I mean, he's got. It looks like he has shoes, like white sneakers. I know, and that's cute. He's got little white gloves, like Mickey. Mouse. Or, yes. Ah. Mantle. He's on um, the mantle. <laughs> <laughs> what a whole different life. Okay, so we get there. We got the unlimited. It's drizzling. It's moody. Dark clouds. And there's like thunder out in the distance. Lightning in the distance. And this is just night one. So. We're going the next day. We're going all day for yeah. the amusement. There's also a huge arcade. Jesus, you're good. You're good. He's chasing tits. the bug. He's chasing the bug. Oh, what if the bug fucking lands on my cock? Well, you're a goner. That cock's gone. This all guy's right. got claws the size of my asshole. All right. Well, the cat left, and uh, it's a nice asshole. Yeah. Thank you. But anyway, so we're riding all over. We're riding dirty. We keep taking the the photos, snapping great photos. Good time. Then we, we close out the joint. The place is like, good night. We're close. It starts to rain a little bit. Yeah. We, we leave. First, we leave to go get some dinner. We go to this place, Jumpin' Jake's. Good time. The ceiling's leaking. Have a nice meal. We're playing pool, throwing darts. Good time. It's a good group. We go back because we still got the unlimited. So we go, we'll ride a couple more rides. We go to the thing. It's called the Drop Zone, which is like oh, a free God. fall. Remember that thing? I don't like it. You don't like that thing? I don't like any roller coasters. I don't, I don't get it. It's you don't too, get it. Well, I get it, but I don't enjoy it. I just you get jerked around. It's you're scared. I don't know. I'd rather watch a movie or have a conversation. Well, I'd rather those two things too. But every once in a while, I mean, I watch 500 movies a year. I have 10,000 conversations a year, and then one day a year, I like to ride around, and be jerked. All right, jerk me off. I'm just not a huge uh, amusement guy. The tilt the world. It's like, hey, let's get this guy queasy. Hey, uh, let's. Let's drop a guy and watch his tits fall into his asshole. And I don't know. It, does, I don't, it doesn't appeal. Well, I read that book. Things Pussies Say. Uh, <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Classic. I got to read that. Zing. Is that a Stephen King? 
Yeah, the uh, can't every, wait for the movie. Every page just says. <laughs> <laughs> that's what pussies queef oh, yeah. read, I don't read know. my lips <laughs> no new taxes uh, so that's fair but the drop zone is the thing that you, you sit on it and it goes psh, it takes you up to the top and it goes uh, psh, it drops you a little brings you it. back up psh, drops you down brings you up drops you down hate it and so we're doing that and it starts to rain. We're there. Uh, it's raining. And like, I don't mean like spitting or drizzling, like rain, rain. Oh, no. And I'm like, is it still open? The guy's like, yeah, you can still come on. And it, the seat is like a bucket. So I there's know. like half an inch of water. Uh, so we all just go, ah, fuck it. It's the 4th of July. We're all gay. Our fathers hate us. So we sit down and just soak it in. You got uh, a wet asshole. But once you're wet, you can't get wetter than wet. Sure. But then it just takes you up high above the park and it is actually raining and there is a moment where we're all like is this stupid are right. we idiots what are we doing and it feels like you got some lube on that seat now you could slip right out of there I- i'm not into it it's slippery and i'm talking rain seattle fucking rain delay rain yeah and you're up there high and it goes, it's dropping you and we're uh. just having a great time of course we survive we go on that pirate ship which is all the way up here and rocks you back and forth and you're getting these Great views of the ocean and the whole park. That's night one. Night two, we go down there. It doesn't open until four. Now my niece and nephew, my sister are all up there. We're having a great time. We're playing arcade games all day long. Oh, this is great. Having some lunch. I buy them unlimited. We're waiting to counting down till 4 p.m. Finally, it's 4 o'clock. I get in the unlimited. My, my nephew's a little nervous about the roller coaster. I go, let's go, you son of a bitch. We'll yes. be the first ones on there. We get there. We're waiting in line. We're in there at 3.59. It clicks over to four the roller coaster guy's back i'm like i remember you from yesterday he's like i remember you from yesterday who's ready to have fun oh wow we're the only ones on there we get in the front car we come all the way around we finish the roller coaster great ride yep then he goes hey, there's no one here you guys want to go to the back experience it from the back we uh-huh. go, let's go to the back we yeah. jump in the back whole new ride take it from behind the back is whipping you the front is leading you we're having a hell of a time the photo guy loves us yeah Great time. We're riding rides all day. We all got the unlimited. We're hitting the pirate ship and the, and the, the tilter world and the other thing and the other guy. Yep, yep. Sometimes we'll stop to play an arcade game. And once ah. again, it's, it's moody and rainy and dark. Then we all go out to dinner, have a nice ah. big chicken parm. This is great. Then. What my, about the Ferris wheel? You hit the Ferris wheel? We didn't do the Ferris wheel. All right. Yeah, the Ferris wheel. You're already high. So we've already had the view. You got the view. On good, the action good ride. Good show. And uh, great program. A lot of good stuff in there. I prefer the chat. What's the chat? That's the view knockoff. Huh. The view's won like eight Emmys, by the way. Isn't that insane? It's also been on for like 25 years. I didn't realize that. I don't even know what uh, Whoopi's saying at this point. Yeah, I don't uh, I don't know much about any of those people. But I, that Liz Hurley, I really had a thing for. Oh, she was on that? Is that her name? Elizabeth Hurley? No, not... The no. British actress who dated Hugh no, Grant? No, the one that was married to the football player from Boston, Elizabeth... Megan McCain. No. Hasselbeck. She married Hasselbeck. Uh, Elizabeth Hasselbeck. Oh, yeah. But she was named something before. She was on Survivor. Oh, wow. Anyway, she was super hot. Oh, yeah. Good times. I think she's dead or something. I think Sharon Osbourne got canceled or something. Yeah, I think that was silly, though. Yeah, she said uh, that she didn't like Pierce Morgan's asshole or he was black or no, something. No, she defended him. Mm. He said something racial, and she was like, well, he's just saying things. And then she got canceled for something he said. Ah, so, so strange. I think she got like 20 mil on the exit, though. Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah. They got to they gotta cut you a fatty cause, uh, or else you'll just talk. Interesting. Well, yeah, whatever. Weird times. She was, yeah. She's fine. She seems cool. She's seventy-eight years old. It's so weird to be like, we got to ruin this old lady's life. I know. Life. Very strange. I don't get it. And like, I don't know. She's married to a rock star. He's probably said horrible shit, and we're worried about her. I, I don't know. It's, it's it's all. It feels very nothing burger. By the way, you got a decent uh, plump there. <laughs> oh, thanks. Did you know that uh, the biting the head off the bat was in Des Moines? 
What? Yeah. No. We were just in Iowa. Everybody told us that. They were like, hey, we're the uh, bat people, just so you know. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, I guess. I mean, that's when you know you got nothing going on. <laughs> and that's your claim. To yeah, I couldn't believe how many anal. people told us. They were yeah. like, yeah, it's uh, $9.95. And I'm like, there you go. Thanks. And they're like, here's your burrito. And uh, by the way, the bat happened here. <laughs> I go, all right. It's kind of like the Wright brothers. They go, hey, you know, the Wright brothers uh, had their period here. And you're like, oh, I thought they were from uh, this town. Yeah, yeah, but this is where they actually, you know, ate each other out. You're like, all right, well, you can't claim it all. It's it's born or nothing. Yeah, da- I still don't know. Carolina or Dayton? What is it? Uh, they both use a first in flight. Yeah. First in flight? I don't know. What Where is, is that? How could that be? Call in if you know. I mean, unless they flew from Carolina, did they land in Dayton? Oh, that could be some, but then I'd go over to Carolina. But then there's two of them. Maybe one was in Dayton and the other was in Carolina. Is that possible? Nah, nah. They were sticking together. <laughs> Somebody had to sit on that wing or, or hit the steering wheel. Well, whatever. Who's Amelia Earhart? Did she deliver the bomb? Oh, well, that's yeah. Anola Gay. Anola Gay. I've been there. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Amelia. I don't know. Bedelia? What's her deal? She dis- I think Michelle Wolf has a bit about it. I think she disappeared. She flew around the world and went to Bermuda Triangle. Yes. Bermuda. Sorry. Yeah. Wolf's got a great bit about it because she was like, all right, I'm going to do what the men do. And then she just died. Uh, <laughs> that's the bit. Funny comic. Good comic, bad pilot. Pilot? Wolf did a pilot? No. <laughs> Amelia. Oh, I see. And then there's uh, Lindbergh. Yes, that was Jimmy Stewart. He played the uh, ah, Spirit of St. Louis. That's right. If it's not a movie about you, I don't know nothing. Nothing. We got Sully. Even Sully got a movie. Oh, that movie was trash. Really? Oh, my God. People that, if someone's like, I loved Sully, I go, all right, I got to end this conversation. Yeah, all right. I never watched it, but. Oof. Tom Hank. I mean, we already know the story. I don't get it. Hey, oh, it stinks, and they made it all fake. It's just, it, oh, it's a piece of garbage. Oh, yeah. Flight was actually pretty good with uh, Denzel's F- drunk ass. Flight, I loved. Huge Flight fan. Big Flight fan. Zemeckis. Ah, he's good. Yeah, Zemeckis could eat out my mother and spit it in my face, and I'd find it pretty compelling. I agree. Get, 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 him, get in there with Deborah Zemeckis. <laughs> Bobby Zem. So anyways, let me get right into the, the, this and finish off and, and move it on or kick it over or pass it please, on because the please. people are going to shit blood. They're going to be like, this is a list episode. I'm, I'm bummed his mic is working, uh, <laughs> which, by the way, we got to apologize uh, for the microphones. Yeah. But can I just say, I'm going to throw you under the bus here because I'm getting so much flack. I don't show up with my own microphone. Of course. The equipment lives here in this apartment. I got people going, get your life together. Your <laughs> microphone's a piece of shit. Learn how to take care of your microphone. Not at both of us. At me. Yeah. And it lives here. So talk to this son of an onion who, I don't know what you're doing with him. You're shoving him in Greg's ass or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He hates the mics. He squats at the mics. He paws at them. But I didn't think it would ruin the whole thing. It's the, I think it's the cord or it's the outlet or uh, the outlet mall. I don't know. But either way, I didn't mean to. I didn't know it was fucked up. It, it's an accident. You don't have to tell us. We're aware the mics are fucked. Stop yelling at us. People are like, you're an asshole. You're an idiot. Get your shit together. I don't know what's wrong with you. And I'm like, fuck off. It's not, it's not my fault. Right, right. But yeah. maybe we should have headphones. We're idiots. We're oh, pretty dumb. Headphones. We apologize. That's We're stupid. It's possible. This is all garbage. We got a new cool. thing. We got a brand new Zoom. We ordered it. Shelby jumped on it. So uh, if this doesn't work now, I'm just going to kill myself. Yeah, I might either way. But please. Oh, that was a fun. The, the cat jumped and skidded. Yeah, it's got those furry feet, so. Oh, my God. Oh, I, I thought that was a fart. I haven't even got to anything. Yet. Oh, sorry. Hit me, fatty. Go. It's my fault. I, I'm talking too much. I can't keep a thought in my asshole. Let me tell you this, though. Please. Rode the train the other day, forgot a mask. Uh-huh. It's a packed train, and I'm, I'm looking around. I'm the only guy without a mask, me and like a hobo. So I'm kind of like, ah, shit, I'm a little squirrel. I'm waiting to get yelled at by a Karen or whatever. So then... <laughs> This girl comes up, good-looking girl. I think she was like a hot Indian lady. And, uh uh-oh, there we go. Cat's uh, running the table here. Take a seat, will you? He loves hitting the Zoom. Yeah, he really does. Someone said it's the warmth. All right. Whoops. I'll believe it when I see it. Uh Uh-oh. That's my AirPods. He might knock it off the table. He's got a weird thing about owning the table. Interesting. Like a blackjack player. But, uh... So I'm on the train, no mask, and it's it's getting weird. I'm kind of looking around like I'm doing the shirt up, whatever I got to do. <laughs> and this girl comes up and he goes, I have a mask if you want it. Ooh. And I go, oh, wow. 
Oh, God. And she goes, uh, yeah, yeah. And I go, well, is it, you know, this is weird. Like, I'm just taking a stranger's mask. It's like taking a condom that's used. Uh, and she's like, I'm the only one who's used it. And I remember looking at her like, oh, I would make out with her. I, I'm not going to because I'm in a relationship, but I would, if you would, what's the difference with the mask? So I took it and I wore it. I think that's fair. It's fair. Yeah. I mean, I use my wife's toothbrush on my asshole what? all the time. Jeez. And people go, wow, the toothbrush. But I'm like, well, we make out. I finger her box exactly. and then sniff it. I mean, what difference does it make? Exactly. When I was in high school, I was a busboy and I would eat all the shrimp and the pieces of fish. And they're like, what are you crazy? I'm like, well, I would go down on her. So what's the diff? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. There is a lot of like OCD germaphobes that just meet a woman on a train station and then eat her asshole that night. Yeah, that's true. So, all's well that ends in anal, and uh, she was very nice, so thank you, sister. Appreciate it. She yeah. was very helpful, just like, I can tell you need one, and then she got off, and I never saw her again. Oh, she got off all right. You got that right. That mask did smell like pussy. Isn't it weird that I think, I, I'm sure this has been discussed in other places with smarter people than us, but, you know, I don't think women ever, like, see a guy on a train like see his like shorts and then go home and like jerk off thinking about him. Right. But every guy has done that. I know. Where you like go to CVS and it's just like a hot chick with a tight yeah. CVS jersey and you're yes. like, all right, I'm going to save that and beat off later. And then you're, yeah, you stock, you stockpile it. Then you're kind of like, ah, I'm having trouble getting off. Oh, CVS, you throw that in. Yes, exactly. Then your uncle pops in and things get weird, but it's true. Like, I don't think women, it's like context. I've, I don't think a woman has ever followed a guy because he had a nice ass. Like, they go out of their way to be like, I'm going to take a right here even though I'm going left. Right. But yeah, we're different. Men are from Mars and women are from, uh, you know, hell or whatever. Anus. Uh, all right, I'll just wrap this up. Sorry. We, we go out to eat and then, you know, my, my, my sister and the kids, they're exhausted. They go to bed. My parents are 78 years old. They're exhausted. They go to bed. Yep. Sarah and I go back to our B&B. We're sitting there and it's like, you know, it's just a tiny B&B. It's stuffy. We go, well, we got some points on our car because it's all car with the arcade. Uh, and like, yes. Might as well go down. Plus, we're collecting tickets. I like to give the tickets to a kid at the end of the thing because I'm ah, not going to get a bouncy ball or whatever. That's great. So I go, we got a points. We'll go down. We'll play a couple games of air hockey. We'll hand the tickets out, you know, do a little service, shove sure. it up the kid's ass. They'll love it. Sure. Put it in my ass. We go down there and we play a couple games and it's it's drizzly. It's late. It's not drizzling anymore. Now it's better. It's late. And uh, there's also fireworks at 945. Oh, man. This place is paradise. And we missed the fireworks the night before because it was rainy that night. Uh -huh. So we go down there. We go, well, we'll watch some fireworks. We'll hang out. We'll play a couple games. We'll wind down. I get a text from old Soup Uncle Dale. Oh, big soupy. And he says, hey, what uh, what's going on? Where are you guys at? And I said, uh, my texts aren't going through because the service is bad. So I go, oh, oh, yeah. I'll just call him. There so I call go. him and I hear, well, what's up there? He calls me Outlaw since I was a kid. I used to be a main Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah. That's adorable. He says, hey, Outlaw. And I say, yo, Soup. His name's Campbell. I call him Soup. He calls, so that's our conversations. I love it. I go, Soup. He goes, Outlaw. And so I go, hey, Soup. He goes, hey, Outlaw. And he goes, where are you? I go, oh, we just walked back down to the arcade. He goes, well, get your ass out of here. We're on the amusement park. And I go, well, where should I meet you? Where are you? He goes, I'm on the pirate ship. Uh, I go, what? I walk out. This son of a bitch is upside down on the phone. Wow. He's like this. Oh, yeah. We're back up here again. And I'm what? like, this is crazy. So it gives me a jolt. You know a jolt? I love a jolt cola. I mean, this is a thumb right up the ass. And I go, get down here. Let's go, baby. Yes. And now it's all cleared out. It's quiet because, it's, again, it's been raining all day. Right. And so nobody's going to go to an amusement park when it's raining. But you got that right. We're there. So he comes off. He's got his wife and his sister in law and her kids they come off and they go let's go to the roller coaster and i'm like yeah first we ran the uh, we did the drop zone oh thing, yeah and now it's under the cover of darkness so everything's lit up the neon we go up to the top of it and you just see the ferris wheel the roller coaster uh, it's pitch black except for the neon it just feels like woo. america and this yes. joy the kid is laughing and sarah and i are giggling and uncle dale i mean we used to hang out all day every day i, I barely get to see the son of an onion anymore so we're going, oh, my God, now I got the jolt, the meetup jolt, yes. the drop zone jolt, the light jolt. Yes. We go, let's go to the roller coaster, nighttime roller coaster. We're all pushing ah, each other in the bushes. I love it. We jog over the roller coaster. As we're all jogging, you hear fireworks ah, start going off. I start wow, crying, Mark. I'm crying. 
I get chin quiver quiver cries. Oh my lord! Because it's the generation, the kids. The yes. kids are having fun. The adults and kids. When you see a kid and an adult both having fun, oh, and it's yeah. America, and you know, there's Woo. so many things I hate about the country, but sure. I love it. The country's like family. Uh huh. Isn't that similar? Yes. You're, you're stuck with it. You're born with it. That you can't stand this about it. You can't stand that. Yes. You got the resentment, the anger. You wish you could change it, but you can't change it. Right. Then, but also. It gives, it, it bursts, gives. There's, there's laughs, there's love, there's baseball, there's film, there's sex. And you wouldn't have it any other way. You could have moved to Canada 20 years ago, but you didn't. Because yeah, you love it. It's part of you. Exactly. It's in you. So family and country, very similar. It's in me. So we get, that. We, so we, we get in line. We're standing in line for the roller coaster while a fireworks display is going off over this other ride called the Riptide. Ooh. So we're looking at the Riptide. These kids are swinging around laughing right over their head. And there was no fireworks the night before, so they lit off both nights' fireworks, so it's just bang, boo, 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 boo. Oh, wow. I'm crying like a fucking woman watching Bridges of Madison County. Yes. Uh, I mean, I'm hugging Sarah. I'm hugging Dale. I'm kissing all over. We get on the roller coaster. We hit the top. Fireworks still going off. Oh, we dive magical. down underneath. I mean, it was magical. Then... We bump into Tuesday. What? He goes, is that Joe List no over way. there? I go, hey, it's me, you son of a bitch. I kiss him on the lips. His wife is fun. He's got kids running around. What? Then Sarah and I get on the roller coaster, just the two of us. His yeah. wife is sitting there, and she goes, oh, my God, Mike's going to shit. I can't believe I'm on the roller coaster with Joe List. I go, well, get on back here. Join us. So she wow. sits in our car. We got some selfies. What? Then I go, I'm going to give you a real treat. Sarah and I, we're going to take the best photo you've ever seen on a roller coaster. Hell yeah. So we come around for the photo. We're waving at Big Mike over there on the roller coaster. And then we take the camera. Sarah and I go model photo. We do dramatic. Oh, that's fun. So then they get it. She's in there, and uh, we're back behind. So she buys it. She gives it to him. He starts crying. I blow him. Yep. So Tuesdays, good to see you, Mike. And Gabby was her name. Aha. Uh -huh. Good Gab. Gift to Gab. Shout out, Mike and Gab. Uh, I, I cry like a little girl. One of the best nights of my whole life. Wow. I can see the whole thing in my head. It's like a Norman, uh, Mark Norman Rockwell out here. Oh, it was something. And then this is a funny moment, too which I enjoyed. You might hate this. I don't know if you like it or hate it. Yeah, put it in my dick hole. So we're waiting for the, uh, the photo, and these two teenagers, they go, hey, let, let me see car number seven. They're like... <coughs> And the guy goes, oh, yeah, let me pull up car number seven. And he just displays a cartoon of two donkeys, like... <coughs> what? And he goes, that's you guys right there. They gave the finger to the camera. Oh. So he gives them the donkey, and he goes, there you guys are. A couple there of asses. Go. All right, beat it. Oh, and you can good. see them get a little shame. They were like, ah. Well, good for that oh, guy. He fought suck. back. It was pretty fun. I like it. It was satisfying to see these two teams. Who thought, by the way, the, the, the finger, I, you just gave it to Greg, but... Such a hack thing, I be know, like. I know. They're taking our photo. Woo! It is hack. Like, yeah. All right. All right. We've seen it. I do it to the cat because he doesn't get it. I call him the N word. and He doesn't care. But uh, yeah, in a photo, it's 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 done to death. We got it. You're a bad boy. Grow up. Well, some people do. It's like their thing forever in each, in each thing, you know. But. Uh, you know, the roller coaster, you're like, what if we give it the finger? You're like, shut up, you monkey. I remember I was, oh, I was at a party once in college, and I didn't know people were taking photos, and I kept doing the finger. I did the finger in like eight photos. When the photos came out on Facebook, I was like, oh, what a nerd. Yeah. I'm doing finger in eight of them. Well, what can you do? I was young. I do think this is going to be, see how it's left and right? I think it's going to be one of us in each year. Well, Shelby gave me a real uh, FaceTime. We did the whole thing. I, so this is on you, Shelbo. All right. Yeah, this one's on uh, Shelby. Or Mark. Oh, God. Not me. Or the cat. But it used to go both sides. You see what I mean? When I talk, it's bigger on this side. And when you talk, check, check, it's bigger on that side. Semen, yeah. But uh, I don't know what anything is. I don't know. It's a new Zoom. Uh, but I believe in it. Uh, zoom, zoom. Boom, boom. Yeah. Well, I feel bad. You look rough. Sorry. I want to apologize for my, uh, my disposition. Is that something? Yeah, disposition works. I don't know what that is. Disposition means like uh, your disposition, your mood. There's a sunny disposition. There's like yes. this, the guy that sits like this. That's a shitty disposition. Bad disposition. But some people are like, hey, everybody, come on in. Nice uh -huh. to see you. That's your disposition. I want to be that guy, but I'm, 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 I'm in pain here. And then this, this is this dis disposition. Ooh. Uh, stinks. All right. I got yeah, it. I think you need some, you know, get some 
Tylenol cold. Maybe take a nap. That'd be nice. Shower? No, no. Long shower, Tylenol cold, close yeah. the eye. Maybe put some cold cloths on your eyeballs. Yeah, it sounds good, but here's the clinker is I got to go to Long Island with Veter to do a uh, Eyes Wide Shut party. Some guy's paying us a couple of nice shekels to go do his birthday party. It's going to be a nightmare. Well, you'll be better by then, I think. I Hopefully. think what you need is a, a nice row. Get out of your hair. I think you're going to fuck the cat. Yep, please. Long, hot shower, little nap. Okay. You know, half hour. Okay. Get some more Tylenol and just keep hydrating, and then uh, Vita will give you a little boost. True. You got to love the Vita. Do you remember these days? Look, look at me. I'm, I'm, I'm a mess. Well, I, I didn't get it from drinking three drinks, I'll tell you that. I mean, uh, you're like a I've lost lady. my edge. Yeah, I know. I'm a wuss. Yeah, this is embarrassing, I got to say, but I think you might have a touch of something. Something's up, yeah. I think I got COVID or AIDS or scurvy. The cat is having a uh, nightmare. Look at these ears. Can the, are we getting a shot of this? He's having a conniption. It's fucking catnip. A catnip. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Catnip. That's weird, huh? What is that? It's like a drug. It gets them all jolty. Speaking of jolts, but we had to stop doing it because he would just run around the apartment like a meth head. Oh, wow. Scary stuff. So we stopped, but uh, he'll jump on the TV, he'll fight the plant, then he'll do a somersault and jump out the window. He's already a little kooky. Oh, he's a nut. All right, well, I'm afraid to hit stop, but uh, this is, oh, I got a plug. Holy shit, I keep forgetting. Oh, plug. Salt Lake City, Wise Guys, July 30, 31st. I mean, this date has been moved 11 times. I was supposed to be there in March of 2020, and Uh then in May of 2020, and then, you know, whatever. But uh, July 30, 31st, Wise Guys, Salt Lake City. Please come on my face. Yes. Fort Worth, Texas, August 6th and 7th. Yes. And then uh, I'm off the rest of the time until September uh-huh. when I go to Bananas and Hasbrook Heights. I got uh, Comedy Castle coming up, I think, in September, October. Philadelphia Helium, get those tickets early. Yes. You know, that's a big market in a small room. That'll sell so out. So get those. That's September, I think, I don't know, somewhere. Hey, some good good rooms on the docket there, Sloppy Jalopy. Very excited. Can't wait. And, uh, yeah, I think that's it for now. All right, all right. I want to big, big throw it out there, big matzo ball. Doing the uh, Netflix taping. Let's get all the gays out there. Let's get all the queefs out there. We got to pack this puppy out August 4th. The link is on theblacklist.com or whatever. It's free right. tickets. Check it out. Get those gays in there. Let's really, really get it up because uh, this is going to be a big one. And uh, I need you there because some of this material is a little edgy or whatnot. So uh, I can't have any uh, queefs in there just groaning and moaning. So please, let's let's do it up. Get a ticket. Come on out. Make a night out of it. Go to an Airbnb and blow your dad. It's August 4th, blacklist.com. Give it a goog. And uh, let's do a Netflix, and then I'm on the road. Uh, Houston, Nashville, Portland, you name it. I can't wait for that August 4th. I'll be around. Chris Allen's in town. I know, he's coming. Yeah, that's no mistake, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> he's like, ah, just happen to be in town, and the Netflix execs will be here. Well, what does he think? They're going to throw him on? Oh, it's licking my fucking AirPods. Oh, Get out of here. He Jesus, he looked foot. at me. Oh, God. Oh, boy. I feel like fucking... Carry Price over here. I got to kick it away. Who? Uh, eh, he's a goalie. Ah, yes. Price Waterhouse Cooper. Uh, all right. Well, this is going to be fun. That's going to be fun. Check it all out. Subscribe, tweet, whatever. I don't know what Get to on say. the Patreon. Tell a friend that Chuck's kicking ass. We got a new Poughkeepsie episode out. Uh, I put my video of me drugged on the IV, which maybe I'd do an IV today. That might help me out. Yeah. So that's, that's on the Patreon. It's, it's private shit. Shelby threw it up soon. And, uh, yeah, you're missing out if you're not on it. It's better than NBC. Must Queef TV. Praise Allah. George is saying, cut. I can't hit stop. You're going to do it. I got it. Look at this thing. 